Most people couldn't pick Gordon and Betty Moore out of a crowd. They are quiet, unassuming people, but they are legends to those who know them. Gordon co-founded Intel in 1968. Just over 30 years later, he and Betty turned Intel's success into the gift of a lifetime, a foundation to exist in perpetuity. From the earliest days of the Foundation's operation, Gordon and Betty Moore shared their vision and principles with Foundation staff. So well, we thought we had an opportunity mm -hmm. that uh, maybe we could do something that would have a significant impact on uh, the world. Uh, and really that's what was attractive, uh, to do something that was permanent and hopefully on a large scale. I think it's uh, good to give back to society if, if it's at all possible, and I also uh, just feel that um, we have been very lucky in our lives and somehow it, it's uh, conducive to wanting to help. In the years since the Foundation's inception in 2000, it has supported grantees in achieving truly extraordinary results and gleaned some important lessons along the way. We wanted to do big things. We didn't want to you know, handle all the little projects that are around. We thought we had enough resources we could make a big impact. And we wanted to find important things. To approach the problems it identifies and to work towards durable solutions, the Foundation always strives to have a large-scale impact, foster collaboration, take a disciplined approach, and act with integrity as responsible stewards of the resources, vision, and values of Gordon and Betty Moore. We are entrusted here at the Foundation by our founders to carry out philanthropy on their part. Um, I mean, that's, that's an extraordinary opportunity. It's, it's also a very sobering responsibility. The Foundation's areas of interest, like its operating style and core values, reflect the Moore's abiding interests. Funding for focused initiatives and long-term commitments spans environmental conservation, science, and the San Francisco Bay Area. In environmental conservation, our talented and hard-working grantees are engaged in unprecedented partnerships around the world. In the Andes Amazon, they're seeking to sustain the ecological function of the entire basin. At the scale of the North Pacific, they're changing the way people think about salmon and working to maintain a healthy wild salmon ecosystem. In targeted geographies in North America, they're working towards resilient and productive marine environments. The Foundation's science grantees and other partners are generating fundamental new knowledge and transforming marine microbiology into an integrated field of marine microbial ecology. A reduction in medication administration errors and a larger hospital nursing workforce are delivering tangible improvement in patient outcomes in adult acute care hospitals in the Bay Area and Greater Sacramento. Locally, grantees are helping conserve unique and irreplaceable lands, and science and technology museums are increasing scientific awareness and literacy. The Foundation hasn't always gotten the results that were intended, but some of these unanticipated results have surpassed expectations and others have given us the opportunity to learn some significant lessons. To have an impact at the scales we seek, our work requires collaboration and alignment with our grantees and all of our partners. It's important and challenging sometimes to find the right balance between risk and measurement. And as the Foundation measures its progress, surprises will have as much to teach us as success. Now, the Foundation's staff and board are eagerly and actively looking forward to address some of today's and tomorrow's most serious challenges and opportunities. We're really in an incredibly exciting, an incredibly, I would say, almost propitious time because we've had 10 years of experience. I'd like to think that uh, 50, 100, or more years from now, the Foundation is really a kind of a beacon of thoughtful, high-impact, highly innovative philanthropy that the Foundation sort of earns the right to lead by its humility, by its accomplishment, by its respect for the grantees we work with. 
it's just an automatic uh, thing. You just want this not only for our children, but our children's children. Uh, I'm generally happy with the way things have gone. We've had our ups and downs, but uh, I think the foundation is really having a major impact in most of the areas where we're operating.